Hello everyone, my name is Appleguy, and welcome back to another week of Stardew Valley Saturdays. In the previous video, I think we just did some, some minor work here and there, and, and that's a bit of what today's video is going to be like. We actually have a very, very large harvest deal today. As you can see, I'm picking the blueberries off of their branches. Also, the melons are ready, and also the corn is ready. So, everything besides the little extra plants we've grown, or are growing, is ready to be harvested. And that's super cool. It's also raining, so... Oh, good job. You just got off three crows. Good work. So we might head into the mines today. I don't know. I do have some things that I want to do with some of the villagers. Uh, I'm super happy to be picking these melons, to be honest, because that takes a load off of me having to do work. Uh, before I progress any further, let's go check on the chickens. Uh, they're going to starve if I am not careful. I'll be back to feed you chickens. Have no fear. I think I have food. Do I have food? E. Um, I do. Perfect. All right, we're going to take that and uh, get that to the chickens right away because I guess I've forgotten to let them out lately and they need to... Hey, Huevo, out of the way. Are you teriyaki or Huevo? You should be Huevo because you should be teriyaki. You're Huevo. Okay, they're backwards. Whatever. Because, like, you know, teriyaki chicken is, is like a brown sauce, so... Anyway... Um, I did some mining off camera, and I, I have actually filled up our bundle area kind of a lot, to be honest. There's a lot to be delivered today to a couple different places, so I'm not sure if we will get to the mines. I did do some mining off camera as well as some fishing to, just to get us some money. I don't know if we will make it to the mines. It's kind of like a, a hope, but I'm not going to rely on it. We're going to have a very large, bountiful amount of money going into our pockets after today's harvest holy lord and i know that i think the corn lasts through um through the season ending but i'm not positive okay hold on so let me deposit one of you one of you and one of you okay so the rest of this is you know able to be sold for probably the highest prices you've seen on planet earth so yeah i'm gonna pick up all of these although not this because that is for something else. Alright, so let's head into town first. Let's go ahead and do museum stuff. I have some things I need to donate to the museum. I also have some ores I need to break open. And then that'll lead us up and over to the what am I trying to say? The area with the town hall or the community center. And oh, lightning. No good. And then after that we can head right into the mines if we have time for it if not we might just come back and, and play the uh, arcade game or you know talk to people a little bit it's it's really kind of a toss-up i will say though that i do want to make lots of progress on turning things in today so here we go donate to the museum what will you be having of mine you'll be having this okay that goes with the reds new reward awesome you go down here with the blues you are probably a green oh i'll bunch you with the greens and then another white i'm actually out of space for the white items so i'll move that just over there cool and then there oh hold on there's a reward right click my reward oh nice it's a painting we're gonna check that out today it looks like and then there's a, a book missing i want to read the book an old farmer's journal i've been here for a year now and i've started to make friends with the local townspeople it sure feels great and they're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail too that's really helpful I bet that's advice that if you make friends, you can get to their recipes. Off the top of my head, I think at four hearts, Linus gives you the recipe for sashimi. So that's kind of cool. We have to wait about 10 minutes before uh, Clint opens up shop. There it is. Okay. And that is for some geodes that we have, or a singular geode, I guess. It's right here, Omni Geode. In. Wow, is that the thing I just turned in? It is. Huzzah. All right, maybe we can find someone to give this to on our way through the town. Let's actually make our way back. I was going to go up north and then cross over, but let's walk through the town. Maybe someone will pop their, uh, themselves out. Let's see. Who would like this? Abigail would, because she eats rocks. Let's see if uh, Penny's home. She is. She is indeed home. I don't really have anything that Penny would like, so I guess I'll just move on for now. Maybe we'll find something to give to her. We are still working on romancing people, and we have the most progress with Haley. Uh, Caroline would like to hire someone to fetch refined quartz. I'll accept that, but you probably won't get your refined quartz, because I've never heard of that before in my life. Is that a flower I spy? It is. Cool. 
Can I even give a gift to Penny? Hold on, I guess I should check that. Oh, good, new week. Alrighty. Let's go back down into town, and we'll give her this flower. And she will like it, hopefully. She seems like the kind of person like flowers. If only I could just give a book. Hey, can you come outside? Oh, I can go in here. Hello. Thank you, this looks special. It is. I picked it myself. Perfect. I really don't know why Jody is so high. Jody naturally gets high on, on all of my uh, friendship lists in every time, every playthrough of this game that I've done. She always somehow manages to sneak her way up the top. It's weird. Like, Lewis makes sense because, you know, he's the mayor and, and you spend a lot of time helping the mayor and, and stuff, but I don't understand why she gets such a high position, like, all the time. Okay, I have a fish. I think it is a specialty fish. Ocean fishing fish. It's an ocean fishing fish. It is a tilapia. There we go. Go over here, because I think I have some things for this area. I believe this. No, I don't think so. Hold on. Do I have something for this? The adventurer's board. Yes, I do. I have that. Oh, that's easier than I thought it was. Nothing for there, it looks like. Okay. Hopefully I remember to put everything where it actually belongs. Because if I don't, then um, that would be no good. And I just, uh, I see my phone lighting up and it is a YouTube studio notification. Which means someone probably left a comment. Thank you, whoever left the comment. I appreciate that a lot. Alrighty, so we put this crystal fruit there. And this uh, winter root, I got these from the mines, by the way. Is the amber for something? Oh, no, no. It's uh, it's not for anything at all. Don't know why I kept that, to be honest. Uh, actually, this is foraging, isn't it? Yeah, I need a crops bundle, which is the pantry, right? The pantry is over here. All right. Um, quality crops, summer crops, winter crops. Where would you be? What? Oh, it, oh, it's summer. Gosh, I don't know why I'm, I'm in a weird... It's not winter. Okay. Where do you go? What crop are you? Oh, you're a fall crop. I don't think you're a fall crop, but there you go. Cool, so that is all the bundle work I needed to do today. I still have max energy, and I think we're going to be heading into the mines. Because that's always a fun little time. I don't know if with this energy meter... Well, I mean, we're full. It really depends on how lucky we get on finding the exits. I think I've... Oh, I've showed off mining a couple of times. But this is going to be sort of one of the more times in recent memory so the mines basically work on the system where underneath one of the hidden rocks there will be a ladder going down and every five levels you get a pit stop and if you don't make it to the next increment of five then you have to reset your progress so see we're going to jump down to 55 and uh oh shoot there's lots of enemies here like ghosts and bats i need 99 bat wings apparently so gladly take the bat hunt there's two there, probably need to get like 33 or something, depending on how lucky I get. Sometimes also the monsters can have the uh, the exits if they're feeling like they want to give you an exit. It would really be nice to be honest. Hey, go away. Thanks for the solar essence. Not sure why you are solarly essent, but you know, whatevs. All right, I don't think the exits can be under the, um, under the crystals. I think it's only with the... Hey, got another winter root. Only with the real rocks. So I don't really... I mean, I'll break them so I can walk through to places, but it's not like a, you know, priority. Hey, bat, go away. Thank you. Hey, you two. Also, please go away. My health bar is not your place to rest. There we go. Ooh, double. That is not a jewel. That is not a dark jewel. That is a bat pretending to be a dark jewel. Man, I should really work on my quick swaps. Okay, nice. Let's find this exit, please. I don't really, I have five levels I need to go down and you know, I don't wanna waste a lot of energy. There are times when you can get the exit to be exposed right away. Those are cool. Those make me very happy. All right, so sometimes you can just walk around and you will literally see the exit. I needed to put you in a bundle. I know that frozen tier needs to go in. This is some iron ore here, so that's cool. Iron ore is used in the crafting recipe for the sprinklers. Uh, I think all of the sprinklers, not even just the base ones, but you know, even the higher up leveled ones, so they're useful. It looks like uh, some monster was hiding the ladder down. 
that's good. The second I press record, I'm doing decently better at finding these exits. Maybe that's just the luck of the luck of the people who record on YouTube. All right, uh, let's head left first, and we'll just sort of wander around and slay the bats that come attacking and steal their wings and deal with these gosh darn ghosts that take forever to do anything and take like a thousand percent knockback. They're almost not even worth fighting, to be honest with you. Please drop the exit. I don't think the ghosts can ever drop the exits, to be honest. Oh my gosh, there's lots of monsters now. Earlier levels in the mines aren't this hectic, but I'm dealing decent damage now, so I don't feel overwhelmed at all. Exit! <laughs> I don't feel overwhelmed at all. I'll quick the exit run! Scramble! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling quite confident in my abilities. That looks like an entryway you can walk through, but that is in fact not an entryway you can walk through. So don't try it. Holy lord, there's a many, many things here. Many, many things. I'm, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed now. I wasn't before, I am a little bit now. Just because of the sheer amount of things that are hopping from all- Okay, I, I got them kind of in lockdown. Whoa! You dropped a lot. Refined quartz, someone wanted that. Holy lord, I can make someone actually happy for once. That's weird. We have to get on that. Um... Is it worth leaving the mines right now to take care of that, though? Hold on, I'll have to check who wants it. Okay, who wanted it now? E. It was Pam. Nope, Pam wants a pale ale, and I'm not going to enable her like that. It's basically because I can't make pale ale. Caroline. I have no clue who you are, in all honesty. I do not know a Caroline. What do you look like? <laughs> Caroline, Caroline, Caroline. Um, what do you do? I have no clue what, I, I, she might, if she's at the Star Drop Saloon, then I can probably get it to her. But I'm, I'm, you know, what is it? Two levels away from being at the next pit stop and I kind of want to do that as long as energy will allow me. So I will probably take care of that. Alrighty. Come on now. Yeah. Give me the exit. There's no way to tell as far as I'm aware of what's the exit and what's not the exit. Or exit, if you want to pronounce it with a different inflection. As long as we are all agreeing that my controller has low battery. Wow, thank you Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Ladies and gentlemen, this interruption has been brought to you by the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. When you want your videos to be interrupted, you choose Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Well, that went on longer than it needed to. Okay. I have to uh, work on mining. Because I mine all day. This isn't my song. S also is not about this game. But I don't care. Ghostfish. Okay. Get in the bag. <laughs> Hopping around like you own the place. Get back here. Ghostfish. Frozen geode. Cool. Alright, if we don't get the uh, refined quartz to Caroline today, we'll get it to her the next Stardew Day. It's alright. I like opening these because I think they have four chances to reveal the, uh, the exit. And yet they still don't. Can I craft cherry bombs? Is that a good thing to do? I don't have copper ore. I'm too low for copper ore. It doesn't spawn anymore. Cherry bombs are, you know, small explosives. So if you need to clear out a large area, you can just plop down a cherry bomb and uh, make your way through. There's the exit. Okay. Whoo, and we get a chest. A crystal dagger. That looks like the Master Sword from The Legend of Zelda. Let's see its damage. What am I looking for? Uh, 4 to 10 damage, 50 crit power, 5 weight. Uh, how does that dagger weigh more than this glaive? Also, just as a quick showcase, you can fish in here. I don't know what you catch, but you can fish in here. Come on! Fight! There we go. Oh boy, white algae. I think you can catch ghost fish, to be honest, but... Alright, there we go, so now we're level 60 in the mines. I don't know how much- I think the mines go down to 80. But I'm not positive and I don't want to put that in, in writing. So, you know, 
Whoa, that was a flash of lightning. I thought I blinked. Well, I did blink, but it was timed pretty perfectly. Alrighty, so we can uh, probably just finish up the day, to be honest. I want to try and get whoever wants this crystal. Oh, oh, wait, I need to go back. Do I need to go back? No, I don't need to go back. Never mind. I was going the right way. I just realized I still have um, this frozen shard or frozen tear, I think is what it's called. And I think this was for a bundle. So it'd be a cool upgrade to be able to access all the bundles from one main station just to, uh, you know, plop things down as they are found. And there we go. All right, so I still need an earth crystal and I still need fire quartz. I have that. Holy Lord. That's amazing. I didn't realize that. What is the reward for this bundle? Mine carts repaired. I'm almost done with that one. That one's going to be coming quickly. How many bat wings do I have? 14. Yeah, the bat wings are going to be with the uh, limiting factor there, but it's not impossible to do. All right, 940 p.m. It's currently 945 in real life, so we're, we're just about crossing over the border now of the real world and the fake world. All right, this is that refined quartz that I needed. Hello, are you in here? No, I've confused... Please let me through. For heaven's sake. I have confused you with a different person. Who am I looking for? I'm looking for... Caroline. I have no clue who you are, but you will get your refined quartz if it's the last thing I do. You want this? Harvey. Wow, I knew you'd like rocks. You're a kind of a rockin' guy. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's hang this painting up. I don't usually get to show off the inside of the house, because that's where I go to end my episodes, but, you know... Well, we'll show it off today. Also, ignore my health and energy. There's none of either. But, whatever. Okay, ooh, and my mayonnaise is done. Nice. Give me this. Give me that. Alright, let's put items to rest. What am I keeping? What am I tossing? Is the answer I'm keeping everything? Actually, I'll keep that in my inventory. Uh, mayonnaise I'm selling. I'll just deposit the rest of these. Cool, white algae, frozen geodes. All right, so let me throw this in here. I'll throw that and that. I will keep the quartz on me. And let's walk inside the house so I can hang up the painting. There's a good place for it here. Can I pick up the, oh, I can light that. That's cool. Um, I really need a place to put this though. Can, can, I, can I take the table? Oh, give me that back. Oh my gosh, hold on. I have never reorganized the house like this before. All right. Place it down. It's not on the wall. There we go. Okay. And this and that. And then I always like to put this on the ground. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. You can put it on the ground. You can fill it up. Oh, you can put it on the ground. Can you fill it up with water? I guess you can't. Outside, I know you can. Alrighty. So, I guess I'm going to walk outside so I can end the episode. Uh, we had a huge harvest today. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please hit like, subscribe, and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me and you guys spread my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Stardew Valley Saturdays. Until then, as always, take care.